It is the 18th of the 11th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Day 983. Any news? <clears throat> UK newspaper multiple sets of fuel rods at unit number four reportedly damaged after the disaster. Explosions to blame? Question mark. You think? Assemblies and their handles may not may have been damaged when big pieces of debris fell. Well, maybe when the pool cracked and drained and it caught on fire a few times, too. You think that did anything? Japan nuclear official. I can't deny that fuel in unit number four pool has damaged. Scars on rods can grow and cause radioactive leaks when removed. Again, fear, fear, fear. Let's all watch number four. Let's all watch number four. Fuel removal underway at unit number four. Concerns cast, not water, not watertight rods could contact air. Exposure to air can cause sustained nuclear reaction. Tokyo evacuations if uncontrolled nuclear con conflagration, question mark. They didn't evacuate Tokyo last time. Why would they do it now? Rods contain plutonium, MOX fuel, and plutonium is an actual after byproduct of spent fuel rods. Experts concerned quake to hit during process. It's already rumbling, it's already rumbled. They just reported a 5.4 just south of Fukushima. <sighs> physicians, U.S. physicians, of course, Fukushima contamination will impact our health. This is random murder. TV scientists say it's suicidal for government to allow residents to live near radiation hotspots by the plants. Yet they do. The insanity continues. Former TEPCO engineer, Fukushima meltdown was ignited by quake, not tsunami. Serious damage caused reactor to lose coolant. Lies will likely be exposed before long. It's been an ongoing process, hasn't it? Expert quote, I think all units sustained damage from the quake. Me too. Now revealed there were 80 damaged spent fuel assemblies leaking radioactive materials from Fukushima storage pools before the disaster. These are nuclear fuel uh, rod assemblies that were damaged in the everyday wear and tear that is uh, the nuclear industry. And uh, they're just coming around to tell us about this. Only because they're the situation, of course. Makes you wonder how many damaged fuel rods are slightly leaking radiation in all the hundreds and hundreds of spent fuel pools around the world. They're just not telling us what's going on. They're just playing it's like it's safe. Hey, green energy, nuclear energy is so safe. Look how safe it is, everybody. Shut them down. Shut them all down. Immense mystery as sea stars being wiped out along the west coast could be gone for generations. Bewildering disease is spreading and no idea what's causing it or how to stop it. Time lapse shows all legs lost in seven hours. And again and again and again, the great tsunami, the industrialized coastline that was Japan, all those untold untold amounts of chemicals and oil and everything else that got swept out to the Pacific Ocean and is now splashing up against the west coast of the United States and Canada. Filtering all the way down to Mexico. That's just the way it rolls. We've all seen the diagrams. It accumulates in stacks. Anonymous protests at California TV station over lack of Fukushima coverage. Show host, I wonder if media is paid not to report on it. Who owns these big media companies? Who really owns them? If you look into that, you'll know why. Senior scientist, phony stories made up by National Propaganda Radio. And we all been seeing the lies as they've been making it up as it goes along. If you've been paying any kind of attention... And if you're new to this, heads up, you better wake up quick. Uh, Yale Chief Avril looking hoarse at the UN to speak about Fukushima crisis and the threat to future of humanity. 
Quote, contamination of our food and land now affecting the way we think. Disease of the mind has set in the world leaders. Faced with chaos, disasters, and diseases, the end of life as we know it. They all know about it. They all know. The truth must be told, Fukushima a major global threat to all living flora and fauna. Mainstream media not the best source of information. <gasps> really? Arnie Gunderson. Only thing saving us is the internet. Thanks Arnie. I'm trying. Researchers skin ulcers on Alaska wildlife after Fukushima were never observed before. Also report also reported in the seals from Japan. We couldn't document the fallout pattern when plumes hit and animals were on the ice. Mm -hmm. Ernie Gunderson again. Health effects from Fukushima are being hidden. Japan not publishing data on stillbirths, spontaneous abortions, cancers, and more since 311. Indicates they're afraid to release it. Oh, ignore what happened in Chernobyl. None of that's going on in Japan. They have everything completely under control folks nothing to see here move along new footage shows reactor number one was has ruptured containment structure most likely from the explosion water to cool what's left of the core flowing into the environment well the core is not there well, a little bit of it is there's a little bit in the pipes and there's a whole bunch of it down in the ground and remember it doesn't just drop in one big blob it spreads out like tree roots and you have three of these into the Pacific Ocean every single day Fukushima plume headed to the west coast isn't just going to pass by like smoke plant continues to spew into the ocean Pacific to be full of contamination it's a gigantic experiment host amazing how many people are in denial it truly is amazing how many people just don't want to hear about it. Get angry when you mention it because they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with it. Well, guess what? You can't see it. You can't smell it. But it's here and you better deal with it because it's now. And it's affecting you, where you live, where you eat, where you sleep. Wake up. Please, please wake up. Uh, Arnie Gunderson again. Fuel very close to going critical at unit number four. Must be extraordinarily careful about starting the chain reaction. And again, we already had reports where the fuel pool drained and burned a bunch of times already in the early days. And uh, uh, so it's a boiling pot, and they're slowly turning up the heat. They're just, you know as far as letting us know what's going on. <gasps> oh, it's too late. There's nothing we can do about it. Sorry, everybody. So sorry. Video points to serious damage to Fukushima reactor number one. Nuclear expert size of leak indicates large damage caused by explosion, question mark. And again, the silliness of it all. We already know. We already know. 5.4 magnitude hit south of Fukushima. Uh, we're off to Daily News, Fukushima Diary. TEPCO testing the fuel removal of reactor number four pool. We've got other reports that they're already removing fuel, that they've made a, had a successful day already, blah, blah, blah. Everybody look at number four. Everybody look at number four. And again, uh, TEPCO continues to, that, the, that it isn't that bad. TEPCO, quote, the maximum output of spent fuel in reactor four is only enough to work a hair dryer. They're talking about the heat and the thermals out of the pool. Yes, a lot of that stuff's been there for, what, 40 years? Since they fired the thing up to begin with. Every single fuel rod is still there. And in every single nuclear power plant, they're still there. <sighs> Leaking part of reactor number one is made of PVC, polyvinyl chloride. So they're making nuclear reactors with PVC pipes, huh? That's safety for you. Finally tonight, over to uh, EXSKF. And again, they've got a more detailed story about Fukushima 1 plant. TEPCO admits total of 80 spent fuel assemblies had damaged before the nuclear accident. 
70 of them in reactor number one spent fuel pool alone. Then they go into detail about who's and what's and why's. And, and uh, sorry we haven't uh, reported this to the public. <sighs> we told the government. <laughs> anyway, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments. I'll try to reply when I can. Uh, enjoy what you can. Thanks, everybody.